Hi guys. I just wanted to come to you today to kind of um, bring a little bit of awareness because this is fibromyalgia month and and it just fitting that purple is the the color for fibromyalgia. There are so many people in this world that that suffer from um, the fibromyalgia and it's hard to kind of explain. It's, it's like a, it can affect you in so many different ways, but it, a lot of it is, it has to do with your, 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 your central, like nervous. It's like, the, it's like this, I call it the chicken skin under your skin. <laughs> it's the, it's like the layering that's underneath your skin. Um, it's just like at its heightened. So there's times when you don't want to be touched and it can cause, uh, you know, other issues you may have, whether it's lupus, RA, um, I'm like blanking on so many different things that you could, if cancer, it could be, there's like so many different things. And then it heightens those other, those other issues that someone may have. Now I do suffer from fibromyalgia and I do have many days that are very, very difficult for me. Um, it could cause you either being too, too tired because you're in so much pain and you it can cause you sleeplessness. It can, you know, um, like I said, all over pain. It can cause headaches. It can cause so many different things for so many different people. So today in, in, I don't want to say celebration because I don't want to celebrate fibromyalgia. I want to celebrate those people that are affected by fibromyalgia, especially the ones that phys have the physical, um, diagnoses or whatever, but I also want to celebrate those that are part of their, those people's lives and, and celebrate them in the sense that they stick by that person that is going through such a, um, big, big thing that could be happening in their life. And thank you for being that caregiver whether it's in just a call or or you're right there physically helping them when their hands don't work or their feet don't work or they they can't handle even having clothes on because their skin hurts so bad. Um, so in that sense, I celebrate. Other than that, I just want to make you aware, you know, that um, it's, it's, it's a widespread thing and many times it gets misdiagnosed for other things. So, um, so for today, I am going to be doing a purple eye look, um, and along with, uh, one of my friends, well, actually two of my friends on here, uh, Kelly from Kelly's Corner, who I know also suffers from this, uh, you should check her video out. I don't know exactly when it's going to be up. And, um, I want to say, oh, look at this. I'm a hot mess. I want to say thank you to Bree from Breezy Beauty. She put up her video for this yesterday. I asked her to do this for me and she did. Her look came out beautiful. You really should go check out her channel. Um, I mean, she doesn't even suffer with this, but she, she did this for me and, and thank you so much, Brie. I, I appreciate you in so many ways as I do so many of all of you. Um, so, and now that I've been yapping, I don't have a complete plan on what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I never, I go by the seat of my pants, as you know, but I am going to try to do a blue, uh, not blue purple, <laughs> I looked at my shirt, uh, purple, uh, eye look and, and then what sometimes, well, before I do that, I just, one more thing I want to say is this is also mental health awareness month as well. And their color, um, to, to bring awareness is teal is like a teal blue color. So that's what the, I have the, that on because I also suffer from some of that in the mental health of of that so whether they match or not i'm going to try to combine a little bit of that um as well in there so i salute all of you that uh deal with the 
both, you know, but for right now, I'm going to definitely be focusing on the purple eye look for fibromyalgia. So if this interests you, and if you're willing to sit through the whole thing, that would be super great. And um, we'll just get started, okay? All right, I've already done my face. Um, I tried to do it a little more simple, you know, using my, you know, I've done everything, brows and everything. Now I just need to do my eyes and put a little bit of lipstick on. So today what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use a, com I don't have a complete plan in mind, but I may use a little bit of the, um, in here in the tart, just maybe lay some of this down underneath. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with this underneath or from Tarte or in my uh, little mini shade and light, the plum one, I may use this underneath. Um, I plan on trying to incorporate this color as well. They, let's see, do they, they don't have names. Um, uh, I plan on using uh, my Shawn Kashuk, the purples that are in here. Um, so I have just a bunch that I just kind of grabbed. I didn't want to bring everything out. I may use some of this, uh, Bare Minerals, the purple in here for on the outside. So those are the palettes that I am working with for today. So let's just get started, okay? So thank you again for being here. If you're new, uh, make sure you stick around and you subscribe, you know? Hit that like button. And when you subscribe, Hit the bell so that you know that I you'll be able to see anything that I upload. I don't have a consistent uh, schedule as of this time because of all the issues that I do deal with. But um, I do like to upload when I can. And so please hit that bell so you know when I've, I've uploaded. And yes, so please like this video, comment in the bottom, any suggestions. If you do suffer with any of these kind of issues, I'd love to hear from you and get to know you. So here we go. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, like I said, in that tart palette. And I'm just going to kind of lay down what it's, uh, not all of these have names. So I'm just, this one does. It's Natural Beauty. Um, so hopefully this all turns out okay. I wish my lighting was a little bit better. Kind of go up here with this. This was supposed to go up yesterday, and so I'm recreating this look. But my video, it became corrupted, so I'm having to redo this. I've never had that that happen uh, with my when using my phone. So we're we're trying we're creating a total different look <laughs> for today. So, I'll speed through where I can speed through, but I may or may not, who knows. There, so how's that for a good base? That that looks pretty good to me for kind of to get it started as a base.
you guys. So this is what we ended up with in the end. Here's the eye look. With a little bit of purple. I don't know if you can see the purple highlighter or not. Um, it's not coming off on camera. So anyway, I just want to thank you for your time that you've spent with me. Um, if you could do me a favor and show a little love today to those that are struggling in whatever way that it is that they're struggling in. You know, flash them a hello or, or uh, you know, whatever it might be. You know, give somebody a hug or whatever. I would appreciate it. And if you could add a couple purple hearts at the bottom um, in the comments section, that would be really super if you could do that. Um, make sure you check out uh, Breezy Beauty. I will try to uh, link her down below if I remember. And if Kelly's, uh, Kelly from Kelly's Corner, if she has her look up already, then I will also link hers down below. You should check hers out. Her videos are out too. She does a little bit of, um, she hasn't done as much makeup lately. Uh, she's had some stuff going on or whatever, but she does do some beautiful planner spreads. Um... She really does. She does some neat stuff. She's looking great. She's been really putting her herself first lately. And uh, she's coming right along and looking really great. So until next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you like and comment on this video. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit that bell. I would appreciate it because you just never know what you might cut you might get from me. So keep smiling guys. Bye-bye.